Okay, let's look at the scoring categories. This is really interesting. As you can see, here you have far below basic, below basic, basic, proficient, and advanced. What does that mean? If you score advanced, that means you really know biology. Like, you're at an advanced level. You've mastered the concepts. You're super, tu super tutor quality. Proficient, you're also super tutor capable. Um, you got to work out a couple weaknesses, but proficient means you really know biology. Uh, basic means you have a, a general understanding. You, you know some things. You know about 50%, 60% of the material. You're pretty good at it. Um, below basic, far below basic, we don't want anyone in that category. Um, so if you do fall in that category, it's not the end of the world. You fix up those weaknesses, and it's your potential to score advanced on the CST is very possible. I've seen it done before. Students that are far below basic on the state exams end up like a proficient and advanced. And all you have to do is work on your weaknesses, okay? So that's all it's about. So what is the scores like? What determines if you get proficient and advanced and all this other stuff? Well, I'm going to talk about proficient and advanced because that's where we want all our students. So let's just focus on that right now. Proficient means that you score 67% to about 82% on the exams. That means you get 67 to 82% of the correct um, answers. And advanced means you scored an 82% or 100% on the test. So what does that mean? Let's get into it a little more. Here is a score report. You're all going to get one of these. You're going to analyze it and understand your strengths and your weaknesses. Let's take a look at one. Here you have your student name, school name, your teacher name. This student is in period one. I'm not going to tell you who it is, um, but this student did very well. Let's see their percentage. 84%, we said 82 to 100% is advanced. This student is advanced, super tutor quality. Let's take a look here. Again, you'll see the the needle will tell you where you're at. It's like a little gauge, and it's all the way over here at advanced. So let's take a look at this score report. Okay, so here are all the standards that I taught you, and this is how you did, and or this is how many questions there were. How many? There were three questions for um, the cell membrane standard, for example. And this student, how did they score? They got three out of three. So they're masters at, at the cell membrane. Let's look at enzymes. Students know enzymes are proteins that catalyze re reactions. Okay, blah, blah, blah. You already know that one. And this student, student scored four out of four. Again, perfect score, a master. How about, look, this one right here, prokaryotic, eukaryotic, and viruses. How do they do? They got two out of three. That's pretty good. But they might want to work on this one a little more to master it. Same thing here. Let's look at photosynthesis. How do they do? Two out of three. So they want to master that one. How about mitochondria and cell respiration? Three out of three. Perfect score. Um, so let's look at where their weakness is really. Feedback loops. And I saw a lot of ones and twos. And that's one we have to work on. And I'll help you out on that. I'll make a new tutorial for that and help you guys out. And you guys are going to rock. Antibodies. Probably need to, work, need to work on that. So every time you see three out of three, four out of four, that means you're you're a master level at that standard. And then there were some other categories. You can look at that later. So that's how you look at your score report. So what do you do? You highlight your weaknesses. So you would highlight right here, 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 and there. And just improve those, and you're going to be well um, on track for the state exams. Okay, benchmark recognition, proficient. Now I'm going to read off the names, students who got benchmark a uh, proficient status. 67 to 81%, these students, as you know, will get their sticker and some nice, nice treats like a homework pass and a nice certificate that you can put on your fridge, show your parents. Okay, so here's a proficient, and I'm just going to give you the list. You can take a look for yourself, see if you are on this list. I won't read out the names, but I'll leave it right here find yourself see where you're at take a look at it and again what does that show it shows the score out of 37 questions your score again in increasing order so these students got 25 26 out of 30 and then it gets higher over here and these students were very close to advanced one more question would have got them advanced so this group of students here okay cool now who got advanced 
Again, these are the most students we've ever had advanced, so this is, has been our top performing class. 82 to 100 percent. Here are the students. I'll read these out in increasing order. 31 out of 37, we have Christopher Vargas, Karina Resinos, Elizabeth Juarez, Ricardo Hernandez, Caitlin Espeleta, Stephanie Delgado, Doris Cortez, Amy Conteras, Daniel Colmenero, Oscar Avila. Congratulations, 31 out of 37. 32 out of 37. Erwin Jimenez, Aisha Hauser, Debbie Gutierrez, Yesenia Frausto, Anthony Esparza, Mariah Caranza, um, Gustavo Camacho, Brandon Cabrera, and Victor Banuelos. Congratulations, 32 out of 37. 33 out of 37. Daisy Salute, Kevin Sanchez, Andy Pacas, Alfredo Perez, Victor Lopez, Daniel Hernandez, Brian Conteras, and Rogelio Cervantes. And the highest benchmark score, Rodolfo Gallardo, 34 out of 37. Congratulations.